Kiel and Coach Pressy, Merry Christmas. Magandang gabi, Pilipinas. Magandang gabi, Pilipinas. It's another time for us to share the good news of the Kingdom of God. I just want to greet everyone who are listening and watching this uh, Facebook Live, this program all around the world. I just want to greet you a Merry Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And so thank you again for this opportunity before I go on to the second part would be focusing more on discovering our personal leadership potential. But before we go on to that, I just want to um, it's just a reminder for me and for everyone that we have the power to change our life. God has given us the power to change our life. It is just a matter of renewing our kingdom mindset. Learning how to think, how to talk, and how to act like, like the king, like our God, like our father. And God has given us the the life to the maximum level. He promised us, Jesus promised in the book of John, um, He said, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and will find pasture. And then in verse 10, He said, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. And then He goes on, I have come that they may have life. And have it in full. So notice the the last word. Pansin niyo yung huli. He said, and have it in full. So God has promised us life to the maximum level. He wants us, God wants us to have an abundant life. And so in the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed which a man took and planted in his field. In the kingdom of God, it's like a yeast that a woman took and mixed into the bread, into the dough. It is like a treasure hidden in the field. Or a merchant looking for, for fine pearls. Or a kingdom of God is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. A kingdom of God is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. A kingdom of God is like a king who wants to settle accounts with his servants. Kingdom of God is like it's like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. And so this is how in the kingdom of God, God has promised us to have a life to the maximum level. Um, an abundant life. That's the promise of God and that's the truth and that's that's the truth that we have to hold on because in the kingdom of God our provision is God res is God's responsibility. So if you are and if we are a kingdom citizen we have the rights in the kingdom of God. And also in John 16:33 um uh, Jesus promised us to be in, in courage. He said in this world in John 16 33 he said in this world you will have troubles but he said but take heart I have overcome the world. So he gives us assurance to be stronger and to be an overcomer and to be to be encouraged because he has overcome the world. And so it is important. Those are the things just as a reminder for us that, that God has given us the power to change our life, to the power to overcome all circumstances. And the first uh, know-how that I will give you in order to discover your personal leadership potential is first, uh, is you have to, we have to, to know and to understand the true concept of creation, the true principle of creation. You will discover your ability if you understand the true principle of creation, why God created you. And it's important. It, it would be difficult for, for us to discover our ability, our potential, 
and gifts if we don't know who we are. So the starting point, the step one, okay, the step zero, I would say this is a step zero, not step one, is to really know who we are. Bakit ka, ka ba ginawa ng Panginoon? Why God created you? And so the second know-how is knowing the original purpose for mankind. Genesis 1, 26, why God created us. What is the original plan of God for us, for our life? Bakit ka ba nandito sa mundo? Ano bang purpose mo sa buhay? What is the original intention of God for mankind? God created us. What is the original plan of God for us, for our life? Bakit ka ba nandito sa mundo? Ano bang purpose mo sa buhay? What is the original intention of God for mankind? Bakit ginawa ng Panginoon ang tao sa mundo? In Genesis 1.26, God said, Let us make man in our image and in our likeness. And then, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over all the livestock and wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So, notice the world, God made man make man made man in our in his image and in his likeness so image means larawan it does not refer to the physical look but it refers to god's characteristics likeness means wangis uh, means the function like god to function like god so it is it is so um, overwhelming to know that we are created in God's image and likeness. It means we have God's character. We have God's functions. We, we, we have His characteristics. Then, mankind is given a dominion. Dominion means to manage, to rule, to overcome, to lead. God has given us the dominion power to overcome all circumstances. So God created us, in a simple word, God created us to be a leader. So the first know-how is, is, is that knowing that the original purpose of why God created you is God created you to lead. God created you to have dominion. Ibig sabihin, it's, it's part of being human. And so everyone is a leader. Everyone is born to lead. Everyone is created to lead. So lahat ng tao ay leader. Ginawa ng Panginoon ang tao bilang isang leader. How can you have dominion if you are not a leader? So first, know how in order for us to discover our leadership, our personal leadership potential, is to know who we are. Bakit tayo ginawa ng Panginoon? Ano yung original purpose ng Panginoon sa buhay natin? And God said in Genesis 1.26 that we are created in His image, in His likeness, to have dominion over the earth. It means to lead the earth. It means we are a leader. Everyone is leader and everyone is created to lead. And that's, that's the original purpose of, of God for our life. And so that's the first know-how. Know that the original purpose for mankind is to have dominion. The second know-how is know that there is power in your thoughts. If God created us to be a leader and gave us dominion over the earth, God has given us power. God has given power on our thoughts, on our mind. Our mind is very important. According to Proverbs 23 verse 7, it says, For us a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So the heart is really important. The heart is the center for reasoning. It is the hidden mind. It is the subconscious mind. Dr. Miles Monroe 
call it, it's a human hard drive. So if there's power in our thoughts, and it is very important for us to change our mindset, to renew our mindset, because if our mindset is not right, then it will affect our decisions because there's power in our thoughts, which is mentioned in Proverbs 23, verse 7. For the third know-how is know your priority. What is mankind priority? Know that your priority is seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and then all these things will be added onto you. Sometimes we have a misplaced priority. Sometimes nagkakaroon, bal nagbabaliktad. We seek first the things before seeking the kingdom of God and His righteousness. So the third know-how to to discover our personal leadership potential is to know our priority. First things first, kumbaga, right? Things are not blessings. Things are just byproduct of our citizenship in the kingdom of God. And we have to know, to think that sometimes we thought that our provision is our responsibility. But in the kingdom of God, the truth is provision is God's responsibility. The king is obligated to protect all his citizens and the welfare is the reflection on the king himself. Because the king owns everything. God owns everything within his kingdom. So he can give anything, anything to the to the citizens, to any citizens, all his wealth as he desires. And so our priority is to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all these things will be added unto you. Are we living just to make a living? Nabubuhay lang ba tayo para mabuhay? Kumain ng tatlong beses sa isang araw? Or are we living to make a difference? That is our mankind priority. The five and the last know-how to discover your personal leadership potential is know that the Holy Spirit is our personal tutor. In the kingdom of God, we are all students. We are all disciples. Disciples mean students. So if we are students, we need a teacher. And John, in the book of John chapter 14, God said that the Holy Spirit is our personal tutor. In verse 15, it says, If you love me, keep my commands. And I will ask the Father and He will give you another advocate to help you and to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. And then in verse 26, 26 it says, But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Chapter 16, verse 7 and 13, will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. So these verses show, indicate that the Holy Spirit is our personal tutor. And this is the most important know -how who you are, aside from no discovering yourself, discovering your original purpose um, for this earth, is also knowing the truth that the Holy Spirit is your personal tutor. Those are the basic five know-hows know -hows that I can give, that i am been applying in my life, and those are effective in my life. I'm sure it will also be effective in your life. The first know-how, let, let's just do a quick recap. The first know-how is know that you will discover your ability or your potential or your gifts if you understand the true principle of creation. The second know-how is know that the original purpose for mankind is to have dominion.
God created us in His image and in and His likeness, and He gave us the dominion power. The third know-how is knowing that there is power in our thoughts. And so if there is power in our thoughts, there is a need for us to renew our mind. And the only way we will only be transformed and not we will not be conforming to the pattern of, of this world, to the trends of this world, the only way we, we will be able to be transformed is through the renewal of our mind. The fourth know-how is knowing our priority. What is mankind priority? Our priority is seeking first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and then all these things will be added unto you. The fifth know-how is know that the Holy Spirit is our personal tutor. So those are the five know-hows. Um, to discover your personal leadership potential. But the most, I just want to give emphasis, you know, that um, you, we will be able to release our potential and gifts if we understand who we are. Sino ba? Sino ka ba? Uh, bakit ka ginawa ng Panginoon? Why God created you? Bakit ka nandito sa lupa? Bakit ka nabubuhay sa mundo? Are you living just to make a living? Or are you living to make a difference? Those questions are important for you to answer. It is difficult for you to release um, your true potential and gifts if hindi mo kilala ang sarili mo. So you have to know who you are. You have to know Sino yung gumawa sa'yo? Sino yung source mo? Thank you, Coach Ariel and Coach Pressy. Merry Christmas, everyone!